My name is Miguel Reguero. I'm Professor of Medicine at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. And thank you for the opportunity to present our study, which is titled, Post-Operative Treatment with Infliximab Prevents Long-Term Recurrence of Crohn's Disease. To provide a bit of background, we know that over 50% of Crohn's disease patients in their lifetime will require surgery. Of those, the majority will have recurrence of Crohn's disease at some point in their lifetime, which will require another surgery. So our interest and the reason for our current study is that we are wanting to look at medicines that may prevent this post-operative recurrence. In 2009, we published a study in gastroenterology in which we compared placebo given within four weeks of surgery compared to infliximab within four weeks of surgery and compared the endoscopic recurrence at one year. In that study published in 2009, we found that over 85% of placebo patients had an endoscopic Crohn's disease recurrence at one year compared to only approximately 10% of infliximab. But what we're most interested in now is looking at the long term. So the current study published in Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology is looking at our data out to eight years, so at least five years of follow-up, and this represents the longest post-operative study that has been published to date. So what we did in the methodology of our study is that the patients who ended one year on placebo or infliximab, we then offered them standard of care. The investigators involved in the study were blinded at that time to know which patients were on placebo and which were on infliximab. So in essence, we offered them open-label infliximab or no infliximab. And what we found in the conclusions and results of our study is those patients who continued infliximab for at least five years after surgery did not have Crohn's disease recurrence and did not require another surgery. Conversely, the patients who are initially in placebo the first year after surgery who remained off of an anti-TNF like infliximab, all of those patients had recurrence and all of those patients required another surgery. Two other interesting conclusions to our study were this. One is the patients who are on infliximab for the first year after surgery who are in remission did not have Crohn's disease one year after surgery, when they stopped the infliximab, the majority of those patients had Crohn's disease recurrence and the majority of those patients required another surgery. Interestingly also are the placebo patients in the first year who then received infliximab for endoscopic recurrence one year after surgery. Only about half of those patients we were able to put into remission. The other half of the patients progressed and needed another surgery. What this basically means is when we start infliximab for post-operative recurrence, when it's too late, if you will, the tipping point is past, meaning we can't recover the damage that has been done. So what are the bottom line conclusions or take-homes of this study? Uh, for patients who have high risk for post-operative Crohn's disease recurrence, and when I mean high risk, smokers, those who've had multiple surgeries, those who have fistulizing disease, maybe that's a group that we target with anti-TNF after surgery. The other take-home message for this is maybe there's a group of patients who don't require immediate post-op treatment, but rather than waiting a year to do a colonoscopy to look for recurrence, maybe we look sooner, whether it's three months, six months, whether we use things like fecal calprotectin or other surrogate markers for inflammation and determining early recurrence. And now there are some studies, including our group, looking at this right now that have not been published. But I think the bottom line from this is that this is compelling data, even though the limitation of the study is that this is small, these are compelling data to suggest high-risk patients with Crohn's who undergo surgery and be placed on a medicine like infliximab immediately after surgery and continue are able to maintain remission, avoid future surgery, and avoid future Crohn's disease recurrence. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoy reading the article, and I'm happy to discuss this with any of you in the future. Have a good day.